this time about West Nile virus. Yeah, the Virginia Department of Health says more people have gotten the virus this year than ever before. About 15% of those cases were found right here in Hampton Roads. A 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee asked what's driving the numbers up. While rare, if you get West Nile virus, it can be serious. All of a sudden you have a major headache, a high fever, and you have alter mental status, meaning you, you're, you know, you're not talking right, things are not making sense. Lisa Engel at the Chesapeake Department of Health says that it only happens to about one in 150 people infected with the virus. But there's been a jump in mosquitoes testing positive. We've had an 80% increase in West Nile from, from last year. The Virginia Department of Health announced it discovered 38 human cases so far this year, including two in Chesapeake, three in Norfolk, and one in Virginia Beach. Oh, we can't really say why. It's just a natural fluctuation in the disease cycle. Lisa Wagenbrenner tests mosquitoes for the virus at the Chesapeake Mosquito Control Commission. So if we do come up with a positive, we know where to go. We can focus on that area and go out there and, and treat find the breeding areas, we can send our trucks out there and spray. Officials say it's important to prevent mosquitoes from breeding. Once a week, if you can go through your yard and dump out anything that's holding rainwater, then you will eliminate this mosquito. And most importantly, try to prevent from getting bit. They need to use insect repellent and they also need to wear long clothing, in the, especially in the evening. At dusk is when a lot of mosquitoes come out. In Chesapeake, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now. Well, the CDC says eight out of 10 people who get West Nile virus don't show any symptoms, but one out of five develop a fever along with symptoms like headaches, body aches, joint pains, or a rash. Now, these patients fully recover, but fatigue and weakness can last for months. Now, it's rare that people develop serious complications from West Nile. About one in 150 people develop an illness that affects their central nervous system. Systems, but about one in 10 people who do die from those illnesses.